Did you know that the average American family spends over $60,000 per year on household expenses? Shocking, isn't it? Welcome, folks, to Wise Wallets with Sage, your go-to hub for all things frugal. Today, we're diving into the nitty-gritty of your everyday expenses. We'll explore simple, actionable strategies to cut costs on common outlays like groceries, transportation, and even those sneaky utilities. So buckle up. Today, we will tackle this head-on, with practical tips to save money on everyday expenses. Groceries? We all need them. But are we buying them right? Imagine this. You're in the grocery store, your cart is piled high with items, and you're just grabbing things off the shelves without a second thought. Now let's rewind and do this a bit smarter. First off, always make a list. Yes, it sounds simple, but you'd be surprised how many people neglect this step. Making a list not only keeps you on track, but it also helps you avoid those sneaky impulse purchases that can really add up. It's like going on a treasure hunt where the treasure is sticking to your budget. Now let's talk about buying in bulk. We're all familiar with the concept of buy more, save more, but it's about buying smart, not just buying more. Items like rice, pasta, canned goods, and other non-perishables are perfect for this strategy. Picture this. You're in the pasta aisle, a single pack of spaghetti is $2, but the six-pack bundle is $10. That's a whole $2 saved just on pasta alone. Multiply this saving across your grocery list and voila, your grocery bill just got a whole lot smaller. Finally, let's debunk a common myth. Store brands are just as good as name brands. There, I said it. Often, they're even made in the same factories. Choosing store brands over name brands can lead to significant savings. Think about it. You're not paying for fancy packaging or celebrity endorsements, you're paying for the product. Here's an example. Let's say you're buying cereal. The name brand box is $4, but the store brand is only $2.5. That's a saving of $1.5 on just one item. Now imagine applying this strategy to your entire shopping list. So the next time you go grocery shopping, remember these tips and watch your savings grow. From making a list to choosing store brands over name brands, these strategies can help you save money on everyday expenses. And who doesn't love having a few extra dollars in their pocket? Ever thought how much you could save if you just tweaked your transportation habits a bit? Consider the story of Jane, a typical worker bee who decided to take a different route to savings. Instead of driving solo to work, she opted to share the ride with three of her colleagues who lived nearby. Not only did this decision cut her fuel costs by three quarters, but it also reduced wear and tear on her car, leading to lower maintenance costs in the long run. Now, carpooling might not be everyone's cup of tea, and that's perfectly fine. There are other ways to cut down transportation costs. For instance, public transportation. Buses, trams, and trains can be a cost-effective alternative to driving especially in cities with well-developed transit systems. Plus, you get to relax, read a book, or even get some work done during your commute, rather than stressing about traffic. Or, how about going green and getting fit at the same time? Biking to work or for errands not only saves money on fuel, but it also promotes a healthier lifestyle. And who wouldn't want that? So, whether it's sharing a ride, hopping on a bus, or pedaling your way to savings, there are plenty of ways to cut down on transportation costs. Change the way you travel, and you might just find yourself with a much healthier bank balance. Utility bills, they come every month without fail, but are we paying more than we should be? Let's talk about the silent money drainers, those little things that inch up your utility bills without you even realizing it. The culprit, energy consumption, the solution, a few smart, simple adjustments that can save you a substantial amount of money over time. Consider this, when you leave your electronics plugged in all day, even when they're not in use, they're still consuming energy. This is known as phantom power. It's like a vampire, but instead of sucking blood, it's sucking your hard-earned money. So the next time you're done charging your phone or using your toaster, be sure to unplug it. Now let's talk about appliances. We all love our dishwashers, dryers, and refrigerators, but did you know that not all appliances are created equal? Some are more energy efficient than others. By switching to energy efficient appliances, you're not only helping the planet, but you're also helping your wallet. Let's take a real life example. Meet Jane. Jane switched to an energy efficient refrigerator and saw her electricity bill drop by 20%. That's a saving of around $200 a year. And that's just from one appliance. Imagine the savings if Jane switched all her appliances to energy efficient ones. And let's not forget about water. Those long hot showers might feel great, but they're costing you. 
By simply reducing your shower time by 5 minutes, you could save up to 50 gallons of water a week. That's a lot of water, and a lot of money saved. In essence, it's all about being mindful and making small changes. Unplug your electronics, switch to energy-efficient appliances, and conserve water. These steps may seem insignificant on their own, but collectively, they can make a significant impact on your utility bills. By making these small changes, you can significantly reduce your utility bills and save that money for something more exciting. So, there you have it. Practical ways to save money on everyday expenses. It's quite simple when you think about it. By making smart choices, such as planning meals and shopping with a list, you can cut down on grocery costs. Opting for public transportation or carpooling can help you save on transportation expenses. And let's not forget the silent money drainers, those pesky utility bills. By being mindful of your energy and water use, you can reduce these costs significantly. But remember, these are just the tips of the iceberg. There are countless other ways to save money, and we're here to help you discover them. So, if you found this video helpful and want to learn more, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Now, we would love to hear from you. What are your favorite money-saving tips? Comment below and let us know.